Question, are you sick of paying upwards of a thousand pounds for a player's distance iron? Something like a P790, Wilson D9, Rogue ST Pro, things like that. Well, now there's alternatives that cost half the price. In my hand, I have a golf club that I got custom fit for myself for $695, which if we equate that in the exchange rate to pounds is that. Now I don't know off the top of my head, so I'll just put it there. And that is basically half the price or there or thereabouts of what a P790 would cost you to be brand new custom fit. Well, I went onto a website I picked the head that I wanted, the shaft that I wanted, two degrees flat, half an inch long with a mid-sized grip. My perfect setup, because I know the lie angle is the same of what the, the clubs I play currently. So these clubs are absolutely custom fit for me at half the price. What is it? What brand is it? These are the Tacomo 101 Tees, the player's distance iron. Now, Tacomo had the 101. But what they did is they listened to their customer and made the 101T. And the 101T has a slightly smaller blade length and is less offset. So it's perfect for what I want. So it's a distance iron, it's forgiving, but it looks great, great blade length and hardly any offset. Sign me up for a set of these. And they feel fantastic. Hollow body design. Hollow body design has been around for a while now. So obviously the P790 and a lot of the other brands are now doing hollow body designs. And these are no different. What a hollow body club is designed to do is just give you a bit more ball speed. But the one thing I love about these over practically all the other hollow body clubs is the lofts aren't jacked. The seven iron is 32 degrees, so it gives you great launch spin. It's only one degree stronger than my blades that I play. So these would fit perfectly in my bag. Now, I mean, you may be thinking, buy cheap, get cheap. Sometimes that's correct. But I'd say with this, that's not correct. The design and the look is is superb like it is one of the best looking players irons i've ever seen now when i saw these on the website before i ordered them i thought this was going to be a big chunky forgiving iron now what you're getting is a beautiful looking bladed style look iron that's got a hollow body design but down at the ball gives you a fairly thickish top line it's not excessively thick it's not super game improvement thick but you get a KBS Tor shaft. Now I've got the 130X. Ideally, I'd want a 120X, but the 120s are stiff. But I'll tell you now, I've hit a few shots and I can't feel the difference. So a top branded shaft and a Lamkin mid-sized grip, which is perfect for me. So I am not getting cheap components for my money. What I'm not paying for with Tacomo is sponsorships of Tor players. And you have to think when you buy from the big brands, you're kind of paying a little bit of that for them. Whereas you don't get that with these direct to consumer brands. Oh, so nice, such a good ball flight. Really good distance. And that was a four iron. And I normally hate hitting a four iron. I struggle with four irons, I have to I sometimes put a hybrid in the bag, but that was lovely. Sounded great, felt super soft, really, for what is a hollow body club. Didn't feel too super fast off the face. It's getting a lot of ticks in boxes for me at the moment. And for my $695, I got four to pitching wedge. So that is, you're talking 11, 1200 pounds for four to pitching wedge with those major brands. Like maybe I had to buy them a little bit cheaper but you're certainly up in and around and over a thousand pounds. I'm being honest, I love the P790 and I love the Wilson D9, but at the moment, this is really, really surprising me and impressing me at how good they are. Now, a test. I hate hitting a four iron off the deck, hate it. For some reason, I feel confident with this club. 
So I've got a long way into this par five, but I'm gonna hit a four iron. And a four iron for me would normally be a fadey club off the fairway. It's just so nice. So nice. What I liked about that shot was I didn't catch it, all of it. I didn't hit it particularly well. Four iron off the deck for me is a pretty hard shot. Um, it's something I'd normally love a little fairway wood or a hybrid for. But the forgiveness in that head, still got the ball up in the air. I'd say it's easily gone 180 yards and give myself a nice pitching wedge in, but it stayed straight. It got up in the air. It did really, really well. I am I'm super impressed. Now, sometimes with these hollow body clubs, you can get flyers. And this is going to be a little delicate wedge. Now, I wouldn't normally use a pitching wedge from here. It's probably a, a 58. It's just a little dink with a 58, really. But can I have any feel with these pitching wedges? Because that's normally where these hollow body clubs struggle a little bit. So I just want a little bit of a feel, like a little chippy pitching wedge, and see if we can stop it on that green. Yeah, it's just, it's gone towards the back, so it's a little bit too far. But I certainly felt like I had control over it. Um, didn't seem to fly out, which is what sometimes can happen. It did go a little bit longer than anticipated. But all in all, it felt really nice with that just little chippy shot. Now, speaking of pitching wedges, a shot that I like to test with a pitching wedge is just a little chip and run shot around the green. How the pitching wedge feels, how it's controllable and things like that around the green is really important to me when it comes to a pitching wedge and also how it looks down at the ball. And do you know what? This looks great. The blade length is just perfect. It's a perfect blade length to blend into my specialist wedges. The top line is a little bit thicker, but I'm not seeing the back of the club. And actually it just sits so nicely, gives me the confidence that I can just have a little chip and run at this. And I fancy this one. Okay, maybe I don't fancy it, but really controllable. Picked the ball off the turf really well. Didn't come out, didn't pop out, which sometimes you can get with these hollow body designs. I am, uh, I am really, really, really impressed with these. I just can't see how you can not save yourself half your money and get into something like this if you know your spec. That's easy for me to say. For someone like me who knows my spec inside out, I can go onto the Tacoma website. I know my lie angle. I know my blade, my club length. I know my everything about my own set, what I want. So it's easy for me to do that. But if you're somebody who doesn't know your spec, and I always say, please get custom fit, then it can be a bit of a minefield, the Tacoma website, about what you want to order. So I would say, Maybe get custom fit first, get your spec from that, your lie angles and lengths, and use that to order something. Now, I would never tell anybody how to spend their money, but if you're someone who is money conscious and maybe can't afford those 1,000, 1,200 pound set of irons, but you want something new, you want to turn up at your golf club, with a new set of irons that look amazing. And actually, people will talk about these because they're not that common. And people are like, what is that you've got? What is, who is Tacomo? Well, I'll tell you now, they're a fantastic golf brand who make fantastic golf clubs at a fraction of the cost. Right, last par five, teed it up. I'm gonna see if I can hit a little stinger down this fairway. So, all right, let's come out okay. Yeah, very nice indeed. I've actually not hit the seven iron yet, so let's hit the seven iron. Wouldn't be a club I'd use from here, but might be two of these down there. Let's go over that bank, let's hit the seven iron, finish this par five off, and let you know what I think of these Tacomo irons. Very nice. Very, very nice. Right, let's finish off this par five. Eight iron, 145 yards, into the wind. Hit a good one. So 
So all in all, Tacomo, well done. Fantastic set of irons, really impressed with it. An amazing price point at $695. I just, I cannot find a fault with these irons. I think for the bracket they're in, that player's distance iron, I think they feel fantastic. They sound and perform great. They're not too powerful. They're not at the 30 degree loft, which you can get with some of the others are at 32 for a seven iron which I love, I've got a lot of time for. I think if you like a bargain, you want a good set of irons at a really good price, you have to check out Tacoma. I will put a link in the description to their website. Go and have a look, have a check them out for yourself. What I will say is I ordered these and they arrived two weeks later, custom fit to the day, exactly 14 days from the point of ordering to the point of them arriving at my door they arrived in 14 days and for international shipping that's pretty impressive if you have liked this video please do hit the like button down below and as always if you're not yet subscribed please do subscribe and i'm going to finish off with a hole in one okay maybe next time <laughs>